NPM got hit hard this week. This story and more on Threatwire. One of the largest, if not the largest, software supply chain attack happened Monday, September 8th, and it was a crypto hijack. Let's jump into it. Starting early Monday morning, a collection of NPM packages were rapidly getting updates pushed to their repos. The group of 18 packages get an average of over 2 billion downloads a week, core to the NPM and JavaScript ecosystem. The packages were created by or maintained by Josh Junin, who goes by QIX Dash on GitHub. The attack was caught by the team at Aikido Security, who quickly saw the changes being deployed to the packages. The changes to the packages were minimal, but contained highly obfuscated code that would intercept API calls to rewrite crypto transactions and drain wallets. In his own personal admittance, Josh fell for a convincing phishing attack. The email he fell for was a request from NPM to update his 2FA information, and he went with it. This phishing email locked him out of his NPM account, allowing the attackers to get to work. Josh was notified by the team at Aikido and got to work attempting to regain access to his information. As of writing this story, the malicious packages have been removed and updated to remove the code, as well as Josh has regained access to his NPM account. A huge hug ups to the security teams who work at companies that have mandated AI usage. You're strong and we will make it through this together because I know the code that's being pushed to prod is not up to snuff and your SaaS tools are working overdrive. A new article was posted by the team at Apero, which breaks down just how much secure coding is breaking down. Using their code analysis tool, they tracked thousands of repos and the work of thousands of developers to pull together how AI tooling has changed the coding landscape. While AI is accelerating coding and the speed at which code is outputted, they found a 10x spike in security findings over a six month period. AI code reduced trivial syntax errors by 76% and logic bugs by 60%, but pass to privilege escalation increased by 322%. They also found a 135% increase in architectural design flaws, which are harder to find using analysis tooling. While AI is fundamentally changing the way coding is happening in real time, AI will be needed to fix the security bugs it introduces at the same time. Do you work at a company that requires the use of AI development? How has that affected your processes? Let me know in the comments. Alarms have been raised that three incorrectly issued TLS certificates have been in operation for months. Originally discovered and shared via a Google Groups forum post, this misused certs have been a high concern. What made the certs be incorrectly issued? The IP addresses attributed to the certs are 1.1.1.1, an IP address dedicated to the content delivery network run by Cloudflare and the Asia Pacific Network Information Center Internet Registry. Looking through the specs of the TLS certs, it's doubted that the cert owners would have been able to prove ownership or control over the 1.1.1.1 IP address. For context, TLS certs like these are issued by trusted groups and are used by certificate authorities to match to a certain private key to then verify that the certificates are valid. The issue here is that owning the TLS cert means that you can impersonate the registered IP, which as pointed out, the identifiers doubt were actually controlled by the malicious certificate holders. The malicious certs were issued by the FINA RDC 2020, a certificate authority trusted by the Microsoft Root Certificate Program. While being trusted as a CA by Microsoft for Edge, this CA was not trusted by Chrome, Firefox, or Safari. For context, Edge accounts for 5% of all internet browsers. As of writing this story, two of the three certs are still valid, but Microsoft has made a statement that they are working towards blocking the malicious certificates. Thank you so much for watching Threatwire for the week of September 8th, 2025. If you enjoyed this show, please head over to patreon.com slash threatwire. If you want to find me online, you can find me everywhere at Ending With Ally. Thank you so much for watching, and as per usual, good luck, have fun, and don't get caught.